I've just purchased a digital readout for my hobby lathe and mill combination. I'm the first to admit that I know nothing about this sort of technology, but I've managed to start installing it. The scale is attached to a piece of aluminium and that piece of angle under there is attached to the bed on the opposite side of that. There's virtually no room to put scales on this thing, particularly with the mill attached to the lathe bed. There's actually no possibility of attaching the scale directly to the lathe bed as there is no clearance at all. So I've got this bit of 6mm aluminium angle that's attached out from the bed and I've got the scale attached to it and I've got 2mm of clearance. Well, clearance is clearance. It's taken me a number of days to work this out because of the lack of clearance everywhere. But I've finally got it working. It seems the X and Y axis are different if you're using a mill to if you're doing using a lathe. So I've set mine up as though it's just for the mill. Anyway, let's test out some functions. If Australia Post hadn't lost my edge finder, I'd be using an edge finder now. But I'm just touching off on one edge and then zeroing and then moving across to the other side and I'll touch off on that edge Oop, no not there right that's better touch off on that edge back to the DRO press my Y and half function and now I know where the middle of the, the material is for the y-axis. The object of this exercise is to get the center of the part so now I'm just touching off on the on one end of the x-axis And I'll zero that. Now I can move across to the other side of the x-axis. Touch off on that. So now I just press X and half and it tells me where to go <laughs> so to speak <laughs> to get to the middle the middle of the middle so now I can zero both the X and Y and I should be right in the middle of the part I've got an end mill in the mill at the moment so I'm just going to drill some holes with that end mill. So that's a hole right in the center of the center. That seemed to work all right, pretty easy. Next thing I'm going to try is a bolt circle pattern. So I press the bolt circle tool and the center is, yep, is, is where I am. What diameter do I want? I'll have a 20 mil diameter. I'm just pressing enter once I put the number in. Um, six holes. Starting angle for zero. Yep, that'll be fine. And the en ending angle 300. If I wanted it different, I could type it in. And now it tells me go to the first position. So I move the x axis by 10. As the carriage is a lot higher geared than the cross slide, it tends to be a little bit difficult getting it right on the zero but it is possible just by going tappity tap right at the very end so now the mill's positioned to drill the first hole of the six holes
Now that that's done, it's just a simple matter of pressing the down arrow and it says, right, number two hole, that's where it is. So again, I just go zero, zero on both axes and that will be where the number two hole needs to be drilled. This looks like it's fairly easy. And I was so dreading being able to understand the technology. So let's repeat the process. Down arrow for number three. Move to zero on the y axis. Move to zero on the x axis. Drill the hole. Here's a trick for dummies. Lock the slide before you drill a hole with an end mill. Because this third hole, I found out later, did not drill straight. Oh well, I guess that's what testing's all about. So it's just repeat, 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 and I'm on to the number six hole. All righty. There's the six hole pattern done and as you can see the carriage moved so that hole is not in the right place. Oh well, live and learn. The next thing to try is to drill a line of holes. So I've positioned my drill where I'm going to start and so I'll zero and then press that little tool button for linear drilling. and put in the length and I'm going to make it uh, 35 mil long and I'm just tapping enter every time I put the actual number in so the angle is going to be 90 degrees so it's from back to front number of holes I think we'll have four in that length and now it tells me where number one is. So that's in the zero position. So I'll drill that and then go down arrow for number two. It tells me which position to go in for that. This all looks pretty straightforward actually. Just have to zero every time for every hole. Even a dummy can do it. Amazing. Number two hole drilled, press down arrow, zero again, and repeat. This is easy. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. That's all pretty straightforward and fairly obvious how to do it. So long as I remember to lock the carriage, Bob should be my uncle. At this stage, I'm not at all certain about uh, what the functions are for the lathe. So let's go for length and diameter. So I'm just facing off and with the tool in that position, I can just zero the X and so I know 
but as I move the carriage along I'll be able to hit an exact length theoretically. So I start by engaging the auto feed and when I get close to the length I want which is 10 millimeters I stop the auto, auto feed and then just go and gradually manually do the last little bit. Well that worked and it was easy. Right now to get an accurate measurement of the diameter and it's 14.65 I want to take 0.65 off the diameter so I go point if I go into calculator and go 0 0.65 divided by 2 and then go minus I get minus 325 because that's what I need to take off and then I can transfer that to the y-axis and now I can set my depth of cut down to zero and away I go Right, let's see how close I got. I'm aiming for 14 exactly and I get hmm, close enough to 14 exactly. Well that's a win. So now it's time for the first project. I'm going to attempt to make some parallel pliers and I've drawn everything with a zero point to start with. So once I set that point on the DRO, I should just be able to navigate to all the other points that I need to drill and mill, etc. Using the DRO looks to be pretty easy. Installing it, not so much, particularly on my little lathe mill combo. But after a number of days of farting around, I finally did manage to install it. So now I'm looking forward to a more precise building experience in the future.